Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to use the new SDXL Lightning model. This model can generate high quality images very quickly. So within two or four inference steps, you can generate a good quality image. So let's get started. The first step is to install the diffusers library. So I will run this cell. And this is my collab notebook with GPU enabled and this code will not work if your GPU is not enabled. So make sure before you run any cell in this notebook, you have enabled your GPU. And just to uh, show you how we can enable our GPU, you have to go to runtime and then click on change runtime type. Over here, if it is CPU, you have to select T4 GPU or if the other GPUs are available, you can select them as well. Moving on to the second cell. Here I am importing some uh, modules and libraries that will be required for image generation. Okay, this is done. Now in the next cell, this is the path of the XDXL lightning model. Okay. And you can find this path from this repository. So XDXL lightning has a repository on hugging face. Here you can see we have the XDXL lightning weights and there are different types of models. We also have LoRa models, but we are going to use the unit models okay so the unit weights are appended by the unit keyword over here right so here you can see that we have sdxl lightning two-step unit and you have to right click on this download option and then copy the link you can also use the four-step unit uh, model if you want to generate your image in four steps you can use that model but I'm using the two-step model, unit model. You have to simply paste the copied path over here and remove this part. Download equals true. Simply remove it and then you can run this cell. It will start downloading the weights of the lightning model. These weights will be downloaded in this particular session of Collab. Once you close the session or close this notebook, these weights will also be gone. So if you want, you can also save these weights in your Google Drive so that you can access them without downloading them again and again. Next in this cell, we'll have to define our unit model. So since we have already uh, downloaded the weights, the weights are appearing over here. Okay, so you can copy this file name. This is also your path name to the file and paste it over here. Then you can run this cell. After this, I will define the pipeline and this pipeline is based on SDXL model, right? Stable Diffusion Excel Base 1. And over here you can see that I have also specified the unit. And unit is the SDXL Lightning two-step model. Let me run this as well. If you click on this icon, at the top right corner, you can see the resource consumption of your collab session. Here you can see how much RAM is getting used, how much of GPU RAM is getting used. So in this free collab, you get 15 GB of GPU RAM. That's pretty decent. And this SDXL Lightning model consumes about 10 GB of GPU RAM.
so our pipeline is also ready now there is one more requirement for using sdxl lightning is that you have to use trailing time steps okay so you have to make sure that your sampler uses trailing time steps let me run this and now we can generate our image so i am using this prompt a cafe with the stunning beach view and here you can see in the parameters uh, i have specified the number of steps as two okay because i am using the two step model of sdxl lightning right and i have also specified the dimensions of the image that i want to generate so it is 1024 pixels height and width usually what happens if you use the vanilla sdxl1 model if you generate such a high dimension image it will eat up or it will consume a lot of gpu memory right sometimes it even crashes but that's not the case over here it can easily generate uh, such a large image and within two inference steps now let's run it so image generation is done now i will display the image Okay, so this is our generated image and looks pretty good. Let me zoom out a bit so that you can see the entire image. So not bad for a two step generation. So try it out at your own end as well. And I will try this model with other things such as control net. And I will also try to use this model in other pipelines such as image to image. Thank you.